well, have you ever seen someone smoking or doing something they're not supposed to be? Well, let me tell you why that they should be able to be able to do that, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is why weed should be legal in all 50 states. Today, today I will be talking about <laughs> why some people think we shouldn't legalize marijuana, how it's important to me, why marijuana is helpful and useful, and how other states have adapted to legalization, and why some have not legalized it. Um, why wacky tobacco isn't so important to others. Um, some people say that it causes weed demons, which is also known as paranoia, anxiety, panic attacks, or they think it's a gateway drug. Um, personally, I do not believe it's a gateway drug. I think it depends on the kind of person you are. For example, my brother Tony started off smoking weed, went up to higher things, and now he's in prison for heroin and things like that. On the other hand, my other brother, Ricky, he also used to smoke marijuana and still does, and uh, he has a family, he's not in jail, so it really depends on the kind of person you are. Oh, and some people are worried about their health because smoking anything, whether it's cigarettes, vaping, smoking marijuana, it does damage your lungs, and that's just one of the things that happen when you do that, so take that into account. And then police, because it is legal, you have to deal with the police. And yes, it is scary. Um, why marijuana is so important to me um, has impacted so many people I know, including myself. Um, my mom has multiple sclerosis, and I don't know if any of you know what that is, but it's like when the vein, when your nervous system isn't working right, and your myelin chief like basically erodes down and your nervous system doesn't work properly anymore, and marijuana can help with that, relieving the symptoms. Um, has opened people's world and their mind, makes people more creative. Those are just some pictures. That's me and my mom. This is what um, your nerve normally looks like, and then that's like what MS does to it. Bob Marley, one love, creative mind, you know. Um, reasons why people smoke marijuana. It's a pain reliever, can help with tremors or shakes in your hands, can take the place of Advil or Aleve, lessens nausea, makes PTSD patients like calmer or feel safer, it makes you feel good, according to Harvard Health. Um, what to do with weed besides smoking it, there's a thing called hemp. And with that comes hemp seed, hemp oil, hemp lotions, hemp wallets, hemp clothes, hemp paper, hemp alcohol, hemp carpets, hemp pe and hemp pe pet toys. Um, I personally have a hemp wallet. I've had it for two years. It's never broken. Zipper's still fine. I ain't complaining. What to do with uh, others, how other states deal with their legalization. So uh, Nevada's tax revenue went up by $192 billion in like the first six months that they started selling weed after they legalized it. Um, the community billboards in Washington now have weed everywhere, or like some of them have weed and it's just making people like adapt to it being legalized. Um, Oregon has more job opportunities now because like with all the dispensaries opening up, it creates more jobs and people are starting to like deliver it to other people. Um, Washington DC has started giving away one, one gram free baggie of weed for every time you go into the dispensary. So, um, black market pot, which is like kids, I don't know if anyone's heard about this, but kids used to buy weed and then they would smoke it and they'd go to the hospital and it was like, it was weed, but it wasn't weed. It was synthetic weed like K2 and things like that. And that's the black market weed and kids would die from that because it wasn't actually weed, it was synthetic. So that has gone down in Colorado. Um, and in Alaska, more citizens have moved to Alaska due to them legalizing it because you can home grow it in your house in Alaska because snowy there, where else are you gonna grow it? Um, in Massachusetts is the next state to become legalized. It's going to happen this summer, 2018. And Las Vegas. 
Washington. Washington, D.C. Colorado. And Alaska. And Massachusetts. Um, why have we, like as in Iowa, or all the other states not legalized it? Well, uh, the reason why it hasn't been legalized before 1937, it was used as a medicine and everything like that. But then they decided to pass the Marijuana Act in 1937, and it was passed by the Federal Bureau, Bureau of Narcotics. Um, this is a quote from the scholar of the Atlantic in the 1994. It said, the prejudice and the fears that greeted these peasant immigrants also extended to their traditional means of intoxication, smoking marijuana, police officers in Texas claim that marijuana incited violent crack crimes, um, aroused a lust for blood, and gave its users human strength. Rumors spread that Mexicans were dis distributing this killer weed to unspecting American school children. They later found out that weed does not give you human strength, because that would be weird. And, I mean, Violence can happen anywhere, it doesn't matter what you're doing, so they decided that this was all false. And no one's actually ever died from weed except for the synthetic K2 things that aren't actually weed, but they say it is. Um, that was according to Princeton and History.com. This says, I'm happy today, would you like to know why? Because I'm baked like an apple pie. Um, now to recap, we talked about why some people think we shouldn't legalize weed, why marijuana is important to me, uh, we covered why marijuana is helpful and useful, how some states are adapting to legalization, why we have not legalized it ourselves, and so next time we're thinking about smoking weed, grab a few of your buddies, roll a joint or two or 3,000. And that's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs>